So we're down to the final skater here in the men's short program. He's the headliner, Alexei Yagudin, who's won every event he's entered since September, topping it off with the biggest prize of them all, the Olympic title. I just really want to go to Nagano and just to get my world held back. Even if it's not going to happen, I'm still really, really happy with all the season long, and I've been like all, almost like I won the two Grand Prix, the Grand Prix final, Europeans, Olympics, and it's like the, I guess my favorite number is going to be 2002. Back at the World Figure Skating Championships, presented by Expedia.com, a Russian American and a skater from Japan. Your top three, Apt, Gable, and Honda. But it's Alexei Yagudin, the headliner, the Olympic champion, who takes the ice right now. He won his qualifying group. He's won the world title three times over in 98, 99, and 2000. He wants it back now. Music, the costume, the snow from his blade, all representing winter. His quadruple toe. Wow. <laughs> that was pretty impressive. back there. Spent much of the time in Salt Lake City after winning his gold medal, walking around Salt, Salt Lake in a cowboy hat, wearing the gold medal, <laughs> enjoying it. The circular footwork and the later footwork in the program are one of his specialties, one of the things he's noted for. Notice that back, he really lets it drop on the landing. That's just not elegant and not good enough for him, but this kind of straight line footwork, this is a zinger. Nation spin. Final sit, change, sit. Cannonball position was was good both forward and backward. Simply the best, and give him credit for being here. Alexei Yagudin had no doubt that he was going to make it to Nagano. He needs the energy, he needs the juice, he loves to compete. That's what he loves more than anything. Well, I just like seeing all these flowers and things being thrown on the ice. I mean, you know, to be in the middle of that, it's like raining on top of you with wonderful presence and heartfelt uh, admiration. That's, that's a great feeling, and it's a great sight for us right here. I hope you can see it there. And he is milking it. Took him a while to get back on the ice after celebrating the victory in Salt Lake, but he did. A couple of weeks later, went back to training, and here he is trying to win his fourth world title. Now, Stromotion, brought to you by Chevy, shows his triple axle. And if you want to see one particular element of it, look here as he steps up into the air and note the height that he gets on the frame right there. That is, you know, extraordinary height and a very good landing edge and a very clean move. And this triple uh, Lutz jump 
right here. He stretches back into it, but watch the landing. He allows the back to drop over right there, and that sort of mars the beauty of the jump. Uh, I wish he'd kind of work on that. And this straight line footwork, look at how steady the upper body is as his feet dance and tap in this straight line. Uh, you know, that's very elegant. It's a very theatrical quality. Good movement, musical, and part of the reason why he got sixes in the presentation mark. And there goes the snow in the winter aspect of this entire program. Well, Tatiana Tarasova, his coach, wasn't supposed to be here. She was exhausted after the Olympic year. She was going to stay home, but I guess she couldn't miss it. Well, she's had some physical problems, and I'm happy to see her that she's up and about with him and enjoying this success. But Timothy Gable watching, and uh, we'll see here the first set. Wow, a perfect six from the Ukrainian judge. Uh, well, you know, those are wonderful marks. And it was, uh, you know, really a very, uh, you know, brilliant program all the way around. Now, very impressive. The presentation marks. We only had one previous 6.0 at the World Championships. That was back in his free skate in 99. Look at this. Five for presentation. Six perfect sixes overall for Alexei Yagu. Well, well, that's, you know, it, I think it's well-deserved, and it's nice to see. The fact that he's got five sixes in presentation is a very creditable situation, and uh, he should be extremely proud of that. Make no mistake, I think he just went into first place. <laughs> So Alexei Yagudin in a familiar place. He has the lead after the short program. Alexander Ampt in second. Gable's in third, and he's got to get some help in the free skate because of the qualifying round and the 50% for the free skate. Honda's in fourth. Michael Weiss rounding out the top five, and Matt Savoy drops all the way down to 14th. Alexei Yagudin has made his way over to have a word with Peter Carruthers. Peter? Coming off the high of an Olympic gold medal, six perfect scores. How do you get the intensity up to execute that well? Actually, I'm really happy that I've skated last in the warm up. Actually, the first thing it was pretty hard to skate because I knew I like I heard everything what the other skaters, what which marks they got, but it was a little bit hard for me. But still, it's way easier to skate in here compared to the Olympics. I'm doing kind of a show here, but I'm really happy to get those high marks, the early marks I deserve for that great short program. But unfortunately, I skated at the beginning of the event at the Olympics, so I couldn't, I didn't have a chance to get those. But I'm really happy with tonight's performance. Great jumper, a great artist, but you got to tell me, how do you develop that incredible footwork? Actually, that's a great question, but uh, you better ask my coach, Tatiana, because <laughs> she, she just cleans my programs, and I just do what she says. Well, you had it very good. So far, so good. You had your 22nd birthday here, so that must have been kind of neat for you, huh? I was really excited to turn 21 for United States, but so far, I've just went 22. It's, it's a little bit easier. Well, good luck in the free program. And Terry, back to you.